Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to create this really cool looking effect using some pre-built tools in Final Cut Pro along with M Shatter. Uh, we're gonna be using a little bit of M Flare 2, M Film Look, M Light Diffuse, and M Adjustment Layer. So why don't we get started? All right, so as you can see here, we have this shot between two buildings just kind of going in, and this is what we're gonna be using using as our base for this look now we need to mask out this center so let's go over to our masks and we're just going to pick up our shape mask and drop this onto our clip over in our inspector let's go ahead and open this up we are going to invert our mask and then we are going to go ahead and make this a harder square let's get rid of our feathering so it's nice and sharp and then we are just going to set this mask as best as we can right in between these buildings. We can zoom in just a bit so that we make sure that we are as close to perfect as possible. And using our on-screen controls, just moving all the way up so that now we know that that mask is in between our buildings. Over in our inspector, let's go ahead to our transform tools and we're going to set keyframes on our position, rotation, and scale. Let's move our playhead to the final part of this clip. And then we can go ahead and adjust the position and the scale so that it is around the edges of these buildings here. And then we will move our playhead back to the center and let's make sure that that is as perfect as it can be so we've essentially added three keyframes awesome now that that is complete we are going to duplicate our clip by pressing option click and we can drag down because we are placing our next clip beneath we are then going to go over into our inspector let's change our rotation to negative 90 and we are going to bring our position over. Let's go negative 75. Let's see how that does. There we go. And we are going to bring our scale down a bit. So let's scale this to 80%. And let's see how that's starting to look. All right, so pretty cool. I do want to give a bit of a vertigo look. Now we do have M vertigo as a plugin, but for this instance, we don't want there to be any distortion. So I'm going to do this manually. So on our transform in our scale, we've already got it set to 80. We're gonna set a keyframe and then let's go back to the final bit of our clip and let's just scale that down. Why don't we go 60 and see how that looks? Okay, cool. So you see there's a bit of that vertigo feeling. We're going to do the same thing. So option, click and drag down. We're setting this beneath both clips. And why don't we set this one to 360 degrees over in our transform. And then we are going to scale this one down let's say 50% see how that looks okay so let's see how that's starting to look cool and we need to do the same thing kind of scaling down with our keyframes so on our keyframe I'm gonna set a keyframe there at 50 let's go to the end of our clip and why don't we scale that down as well and we could scale that down a good bit. Let's say 35, see how that looks. Really cool, yeah, it's getting that cool vertigo effect there. As a matter of fact, I might not want to scale this second one now that I see it so much. So why don't we set this instead of 60, let's set it to 70 and see if we're starting to get that look. Nice. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go over into our generators. Let's go to solids and find our white generator. And we're just going to bring this down beneath. Go ahead and just cut that, 
trim it really quickly so that it matches now we are also going to um in the final stages do a crop on this so we will get rid of these bars here so don't you worry let's set our generator over in our inspector to bright white there we go and now i would like to go back up to my titles and let's grab our adjustment layer m adjustment layer is free from motionvfx.com so there we go let's grab m adjustment layer go ahead and bring it in we dropped that in by just using q over top of our clip there so the next step we're going to add m flare 2 and now to get a retime preview you can just kind of skim over quickly to see what kind of a look you want i think for this one we want to go a little bit more subtle so we're not going to do anything too crazy for this why don't we use the distant galaxy glow i think that looks cool so let's just add it to our adjustment layer there and you can see how that is affecting our clip let's use our on-screen controls and just add this to the center why don't we add our flare so that it is just kind of looking out i do want to edit this so i'm going to click the edit button here on my floating window and if you're not familiar with m flare 2 it's pretty amazing it is trackable now for this because it stays in the center we don't have to track it but you can track these flares and you can make adjustments to every element within that flare i think for this one i'm going to turn our ring off and that's really all i need to do so let's click ok let's just kind of take a look at what's going on so far there we go all right, the next step, I would like to add a bit of diffusion. So I'm going to go to M Light Diffuse. Let's just pick up M Light Diffuse number three. I think it just kind of softens that up a little bit and it might be a little too much. So let's go down into our inspector and you can see we've got diffuse brightness and all of these goodies here. And I'm going to just turn that brightness down just a bit but you can see the difference that that is making there in the center primarily is what I want you to look at. Because again, we are going to crop all of this. All right, and then I want to add M Film Look. M Film Look is pretty incredible. We use it on almost everything. Now you can use it on your adjustment layer as well. I am going to, however, select this clip so I can get a real-time preview of how that is going to affect our footage by skimming over. I'd like to go for like a teal and orange look. So I'm going to skim these until I find the look I want and then I'll be right back. So our display preset, although it does have a vertical crop, has a bit of a teal and orange look. So I'm going to click this, drag it onto our adjustment layer and I'm going to go to our letterbox here and I'm just going to change that. I'm going to turn our blurring off. And I'm also going to turn our chromatic aberration down because it is a bit too much there. I'm going to scroll down to the letterbox and you can see here that we have a mode and I'm going to change that to horizontal and then we can change our amount so that we can letterbox the top and bottom to get rid of those issues that we're having with seeing our white background that is looking pretty incredible so far now i want to use some final touches which are going to be using some of the compositing elements from our m shatter plugin so if you skim across these, you can see these are some really unique, really cool breaking glass. I'm going to use the M Shatter Shreds number one and the M Shatter Burst number nine. So I kind of want that to burst out right there. So I'm going to tap I and let's just drag this in. We're going to drag it beneath our adjustment layer here so that our color grade is also affecting our shatter go ahead and just trim that there we go and we need to change the blend mode to add 
and now you can see some of that shattering going on so let's see how that's looking so far oh that's awesome i'm going to use t and i'm just going to bring the beginning of that back because that is a little bit too much there at the beginning and now let's see how that looks all right that's looking pretty awesome now let's go to our M Shatter Shreds and we're gonna kind of do the same thing. I like these big bits of glass. I've already set an endpoint for this one so I'm going to bring this down. Let's go ahead and just trim it. And again, over in our inspector, blend mode, set that to add. And let's see how this is looking. Really, really cool. I do want to do a little bit more on my color grading to give a teal and orange look. So on my adjustment layer, I can go in and I can add a color board and I can make adjustments from there. So I'm also going to go to my M LUT and let's drag that on so that we can find a teal and orange preset. So searching in my search box, I see the teal orange preset here. So I'm just going to click that and click OK. You can see here with our slider that difference that that M LUT is making. And that is it. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial on using some compositing effects along with some of the titles and effects from MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.